So, in the series of running C programming, we are discussing dynamic memory allocation in C. In the previous videos, we have discussed all the three fu functions that has been used to allocate memory dynamically. Those are malloc, calloc and realloc. Now, one function is to deallocate memory, to deallocate the dynamically allocated memory or to release that memory. That is free function. In C language, the function is free. So, in this video, we will talk about this function, right. So, I am not going to talk about the you know, on the surface detail like what is free function, the syntax and I will just show you a simple program. No, we will deep down into the working of this function. What actually you know this free function do? Freeing of memory or releasing of the memory, what exactly this means? What is behind the process? What happens when you use free function in your program, right? What exactly that means, right? And after freeing the memory, if you want to dereference the pointer, if you want to access that memory again, then what happens? We will see all these things with the help of a program, right? I will show you practical also. This is, so this video is going to be very, very, you know, important for you guys, right? Now before that, just want to tell you one thing. If you guys are planning to prepare for GATE 2023 and 2024 exam, then An Academy is coming up with, coming up with a great opportunity for you guys. An Academy is conducting a scholarship test for GATE and ESC. It is all India scholarship test for all the GATE 2023 and 2024 exams. The most important thing is you can take this test for free. It is a live test and it would be conducted on 20 March at 11 am. As it is all India live scholarship test, so you will compete live with learners from all over the country and you also get a chance to have a all India rank. And the syllabus for this test is simple general aptitude and engineering mathematics. So here, if you attempt it live, you can get a chance to win up to 100% scholarship. So now what is the format of this test? Here you will get 50 questions carrying one mark each. The syllabus is general aptitude and engineering mathematics, right? And there is no negative marking and the duration of the test is 60 minutes. So now how can you enroll for this test? See the enrollment link or the registration link I'll put in the description box of this video. You just go to that link, click to that link and this type of screen will be opened in front of you and that's it. Here you just enter, you can enroll with your mobile number also or your mail ID also. You can enter your mobile number and just you can click enroll for free. So the relevant links and details I'll put in the description box of this video. If you are interested, you can go and check out. Now let's see what is free function. So what free function do? It will release, release the dynamically allocated memory. And how you can allocate a memory dynamically using malloc, calloc or maybe you are using realloc. So that memory it is going to release, right? Now it is built in function defined in stdlib. Now see one question is what? How to use this function? Let's see the syntax first. You just write down this free and the pointer. Previously you have allocated memory dynamically. Obviously that using malloc or calloc and whatever the address that malloc or calloc will return you are going to store that address into a pointer. So just pass that pointer here. And the return type of this is void only. It is not going to return anything void. Right. So if pointer is ptr suppose I have written this thing int asterisk malloc and 2 into size of int. For 2 integer I have allocated memory dynamically. Now I want to free this memory and I have taken int star ptr. I am going to store this thing in ptr. So just how to use after doing something on this you know after doing some computation or calculation on these integers just free the memory. Free and just pass the pointer name ptr that's it. Now what does this exactly means? First thing see so data is suppose from the heap section, this is heap section and this is the memory. Two integers I have stored 10 and 2, right. I have done something with these integers, right. Now the base address in PTR, suppose base address is 1000. It will return the address of the first byte. So that in PTR we are going to store, right. Now once you do free PTR, means you have freed this memory, you have released this dynamically allocated memory and back to heap. This memory now is back to heap section, right? Back to heap section, right? So now you have released this memory. 
but still still in ptr we have 1000 right right the, this memory can be reused right now what does that mean another if after free i'm using another malloc or calloc function and i'm going to you know enter like uh, now 5 into size of int for 5 integer so maybe this memory block can be reused this is for 2 then 1 2 3 for 3 right this is how dynamically you can allocate and deallocate memory now the question is will this free function erase the previous data the simple and straightforward answer is no it is not going to erase the previous data here so now second question is can you access after freeing can you access the data again if after freeing this memory if i want to print like printf percentage d and asterisk ptr plus 1 means 0 index 1 index so will it print 2 or not after freeing this so answer is simple answer is it will show undefined behavior undefined behavior means first thing it's not allowed to use the pointer after you have freed that pointer right because maybe you can get 2 here maybe you can get garbage value maybe your program can crash or anything can happen so that is why i'm saying it will show undefined behavior maybe you will get value 2 and you will say that after freeing also i am able to access the value so how it is possible yes it is possible it comes under the case of undefined behavior maybe you can get 0 or the same value or any garbage value minus value anything can happen right but it's not allowed it's not safe to use to dereference the pointer after you have freed that pointer it's not safe right because now this pointer is having indeterminate value before calling free function yeah it is having thousand it is pointing to this after calling it is still containing thousand but this object this object whatever it is pointing this object this memory now you have released this memory this memory can be reused this memory is now back to heap section although the data is still there free is not responsible to erase the data right but it is not allowed you can you can you know access this at your own risk maybe sometimes it will give you correct value maybe sometimes it will give you wrong value or maybe after this again i have used malloc and i have overwritten this value like i have written here 20 and you are still accessing this and maybe you think that it will give 2 but you have overwritten this value now this time it will give 20 or in, in your calculation it will you know give you some wrong output or something like this right so these are some points this will actually happen when you free the pointer right now see as you have seen if you use static memory allocation like i am using here in, the, in my uh, program like int a or int b so this is what static memory allocation from stack section the memory would be allocated like for a and b and it would be automatically you know freed or you know, automatically released the memory would be automatic, automatically released once you exit from the program right in this thing in static memory allocation but in dynamic memory allocation from heap section the memory would not be released automatically this thing you need to take care you have to free the memory that's why we are using free function you have to free the memory right so it's your responsibility if you are not going to free the memory at some point of time the memory maybe memory would be exhausted right maybe your program will crash or your system will shut down or this type of behavior your system will show so always use free function after using or after you know uh, using this concept of dynamic memory allocation in your program maybe if you don't know how to use free function in between the program in between the program also you can use free function it's not like that in the, in a program only in the you know at the end of the program you will use free function no within the same program two three four times you can use free function but for that thing you have to understand like how you can use free function what does that mean 
what output you will get after fleeing if you can't access this pointer now and the, these kind of thing right so it's your assignment for you guys like in a program you have to use free free uh, function at least two times you have to write down a program this such type of program at least use the free function two times right after using this free ptr now ptr is still containing this address this thousand so this pointer is something like dangling pointer it is pointing to a non existing memory location thousand it is non existing now because you have released this memory this object it is still having the address of this object but it is you can say non existing memory non existing object that's why it is dangling pointer if you dereference it it will definitely show some undefined behavior you cannot dereference it right so it's a you can say it's better not to dereference it you can dereference this pointer at your own risk now better after using free better to use better to do better to reinitialize this pointer you can write down something like this simple thing is the simplest thing what you can do just assign ptr is equal to null so now in ptr we have null that's it right and if you again use free ptr once you have freed again you are using free so you it's like double free you are doing so double free it will show some you know be, uh, no, like code dump error you can get or double free error you can get this type of error you can get you can practice this thing at your own right if are you after freeing if you want to access this ptr dereference this ptr maybe it will show segmentation fault error that is also possible so always use free function carefully right and always free the memory after using malloc alloc or realloc after using uh, dma concept always free the memory right now let me show you a program on this free function so this is a program it's a simple program i am just allocating for three integer dynamically i am allocating memory using malloc just entering the value three values and just i am printing the entered value it's very simple we have discussed this program in three times i guess in malloc alloc and realloc also so i'm not going to write this thing again i'm just copying and pasting this thing right so now let me just first of all run this program and show you is it uh, you know uh, we are getting the same output or not see enter the values 1 2 3 so entered values are 1 2 3 right now let's see after entering the values here i'm using free ptr i have freed the memory i have released the memory now after freeing the memory i want to print the values i want to access those values so now what type of output you will get see after freeing i am printing the values let's just remove this free from here right and yeah always it's a good practice to after using you know this malloc after this uh, use just check if ptr is equal to is equal to Null. Then print f memory not allocated. Just print this thing. Otherwise, we haven't used you know we have this condition in the previous program. So better to use this thing. If because of some thing malloc is you no know, not able to allocate the memory in case of failure, it will return null. So better to check the pointer first. After that. write down whatever you want to do with the program right now we have freed the memory but still i'm dereferencing this pointer i want to access those values so let's see what output you will get here see enter the values 1 2 3 so you are getting the output first any garbage value second any garbage value but third value you are getting 3 right so let me just run this again and at this time i'm running 4 5 6 so any garbage value any garbage value and third value is 6 so it is what undefined behavior you are for first two values you are getting any garbage value for third value you are getting right because this happens because you are accessing you are dereferencing the dangling pointer this pointer you have freed the memory but still you are accessing the value that was there at that memory location right so it is you can say undefined behavior of this pointer fine now i have told you that whenever you use dynamic memory allocation from heap section if you allocate the memory then that memory would not be automatically deallocated you have to 
manually you have to use free function to deallocate that memory right now let's see one more example of that thing one more program see let's take this function i'm having a function here display function right and in that function what i'm using malloc function to allocate memory i'm entering the values right and after that this function is returning the pointer so this function is returning address so that is why what int star the type of this return type of this function is display function is int star so whatever it is returning the returning the address i'm storing that address i'm accepting that that address in main function so here i am taking suppose one more point ptr1 right no need no, no need of any here and uh, obviously we are not asking. so here we will just call which function display and this is going to return address so in ptr1 i am storing that address ptr1 is also a pointer fine now no free here now here in main i am printing the values the entered values are from i to 3 and here not no ptr you can not use because that ptr is the scope of this ptr is within the display function so <coughs> here we are using ptr1 <coughs> right ptr1 plus i and after that we are freeing this ptr1 right now see maybe you will say like in this function we are using this ptr we are allocating memory in this function and this ptr is we are going to return this ptr but the scope of those values whatever values you are entering the scope of those values is within, within this function only right so this function will act as a dang, this pointer will act as a dangling pointer outside this function outside the, this this display function we are not able to retrieve the values outside this display function definitely the memory would be deallocated and we are not able to access those values but that is not the case because it is dynamic memory allocation that mem dynamically if you allocate memory that memory would not be freed automatically that case happens only if you use static memory allocation that concept we have discussed in dangling pointers so now let me run this and show you what output you will get are you getting the exact values or not see enter the values i am entering values 4 5 6 and you are getting the values 4 5 right we are entering values in this function the returning pointer and we are we are what accessing the values from main function but still you are able to access those values so why this thing because when you use the ma concept to allocate memory from heap section then that memory would not be deallocated automatically automatically thing happens only in static memory allocation right so you have to use free function to free this memory i hope this point is also clear to you with the help of this program right so now i guess that set for free function so now i guess we have covered all the concepts of c language if i'm left with any concept which is important then you can tell me in comment comment box i'll try to make a video on that thing also so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care